If you've looked into Linux even a little bit, you've probably heard two terms a fair amount, window manager and desktop environment. Now, some people tend to use these terms interchangeably, but that's not exactly correct. For example, desktop environments can use different window managers, but that definitely doesn't work the other way around. So let's take a look at what exactly is a window manager, what is a desktop environment, and what are the main differences between the two? The window manager, well, manages windows. It determines their placement, where they are on screen, how they snap and interact with each other, and to a lesser extent, how they look. But it's kind of easier to understand window managers if we look at the two different types, tiling and stacking. A tiling window manager displays the full contents of any windows on a given desktop. There's no wasted space. They're placed side by side and subdivided after that. They split the screen into smaller portions and dedicate a certain spot to each app. Some popular tiling window managers are i3, Awesome, and Rat Poison, among others. Now, you may think that seems like a really weird idea, and if you do, it's probably because you're used to the other popular type of window manager, a stacking window manager. These let you move windows freely, put them anywhere you want on screen, have them side by side, or overlapping if you want. At least, that's the barest of bones of the situation, because there are tiling window managers like i3 that let you freely float windows, and there are stacking window managers like those built into Windows and Mac OS that do include some tiling functionality. A desktop environment is a complete environment for your desktop. This builds on the window manager and includes all the nice little graphical touches that actually make your computer enjoyable to use. The desktop environment is responsible for toolbars, panels, the clock, and all those other little tools that make using your computer so nice. Some of the most popular full-blown desktop environments out there are GNOME, yes, I'm one of those people, KDE, and XFCE. A desktop environment also usually comes with a suite of apps, at least a basic one. This would include your file manager, an email app, a calendar, a text editor, and often some sort of office suite, even if it's just a basic one. When you realize that a window manager has none of this and just, well, manages windows, that's when the real difference between the two becomes most apparent. Which one is right for you depends on how you use your computer, but I'm gonna take a little shortcut to the end and TLDR here to make it simple. If you're watching this and feeling mildly confused, then you want a desktop environment like GNOME or KDE. Basically, if you just want something that works and you don't have to worry about it, that's the right choice for you. On the other hand, if you live in the terminal, read your email in MUT, type everything worth typing in Vim, then a window manager like i3 is perfect for you. It's got everything you need in a basic graphical environment, but it's not gonna bog you down with a bunch of extras. And there you go. Hopefully you're now at least a little more enlightened when it comes to window managers and desktop environments. For more incredibly useful information, don't forget to head over to maketecheasier.com. There's a bunch of cool stuff there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.